What's up guys, it's Gina. Welcome back to another Pokemon Showdown Live. This is actually episode number 107 and it in and, and in today's episode we're going tr to try to avoid the hacks. I've lost like 50 points to hacks today, which is just beautiful. I've played two games, I've lost two. Um but you know. Hopefully we will be able to pull through, and uh, hopefully we can finally do something with Barbarical, because Barbarical is a really cool mod, but it's also really matchup dependent, because it kind of requires the opponent to generate setup opportunities through like Me Mega Pidgeot and Entei and stuff like that. But anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and pause it until we find a battle, and uh, I'll be right back. Um... It's looking like if I weaken Weezing and I weaken that and I weaken that a little bit, then uh, Barbarical can potentially sweep, but you know, we'll have to see. Um, he does have a few potential leads. Overall, I think my best lead is going to be um, Empoleon because I don't want to give Pidgeot any initiative right off the bat. And I can, of course, just stay in versus Crocodile because I do have. Uh, shook a berry so I can take any hit and uh, what do you know he leads with Pidgeot so that's very nice I'm just gonna go and get my rocks up um, right here hope that he doesn't confuse me with the uh, the move that one move that it has hurricane that one that can't ever miss um, this guy did DT and Polion. Um you know so we'll see what uh, this guy decides to do right here is he about to reveal like physical brick break Pidgeot or something because that would be like legendary anyway uh, I'm just gonna go and get my rocks right here as I said before um, yeah he just u-turns which you know it's fine by me we'll see what he decides to go out into and uh, what is his primary switch um, Snorlax is a threat <laughs> Because I'm um, not focused by Snape on close combat and the reason I'm close combat I'm not sure if I ever explained this the reason I'm close combat is because it allows me to better take on stuff like unboosted Snorlax So he does just go straight out into the threat as uh, I'm going to go in to your boy Tangrowth because if I hit like If I hit two focus blasts, I can force him to rest which is great uh, Focus blast should do 40 some odd percent as he just goes for the EQ which is fine um yeah, I'm clicking Focus Blast, because if he goes into Pidgeot, then uh, that's taking a good chunk of damage. If he goes into uh, Roserade, well, then the jig is up, and that's unfortunate. But uh, he goes into Roserade. There it is, people. Um, I end up hitting. I end up critting. That's cool. Um, do not do not start to complain about hacks, friend. You, don't, you, don't, you cannot do this to me. Anyway, um, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, pivot out into Crobat here uh, as he sludge bombs, which is fine expected um the only risk there was if he sleep powdered which would be a little bit of an issue but i'm just going to u-turn right here um because i think he does want this as a pivot because it uh can potentially come in on empoleon scalds and uh takes those pretty well although i i could see him staying in right here i don't think it's a horrible play but unless he has like hp ice then he's really not going to be doing anything to me and of course shout out to my dogs i'm not even recording this on the same day like it's a complete it's two days later my dogs are still barking anyway he goes into wheezing right here um which is completely fine because one thing that i you boy just realized right now is that uh he's gonna think i'm physical in for an ape um he can't burn me which is nice but uh, he may just try to stand and get off sludge bomb damage because he knows he can chew a close combat or a flare blitz. I'm just going to fire off a life orb fire blast and knock out the wheezing, which is very, very nice. Um, he has zero switch ins to this. Because it should two hit KO lax with close combat after rocks. Um, I don't actually think it Oko's crook, which is a little unfortunate. Um, but if he goes into gator, I'll just probably sack this because as good as it is versus his team like it's not fantastic because he does have Pidgeot but he goes out in a crook right here um this this scream scarf right here um I'm just gonna go out into Crobat because you know your boy has no fear um and the reason I said it scream scarf is because like anytime these things run moxie it's generally scarf uh, I'm just gonna go for the u-turn right here because we will be able to scout if he is scarf or not if he uh if he stays in and we're faster, I'm going straight out into Tangrowth because I can fire off a, a Life Orb Leaf Storm, which is of course very nice as he goes into Feraligator, which, you know, I'm fine with this. Like, it's not really an issue at all. Um, I could go into Empoleon, but I do need to save it a lot. 
Um, so I'm just going to go out into Mamo and uh, click EQ because while Mamo is very helpful, um, it's a little unfortunate that Lax can kind of use, use it as setup fodder. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and click EQ right here. Hopefully we can uh, knock this gator out, although I highly doubt we will be able to. Um, but it will put it in range to where Nape can come in and clean it up with a vacuum wave. If he is a jet, I will live and uh, he will lose health to life orb recoil. And it should only do around like 60-ish percent and uh, that that life orb recoil, recoil that he takes will put him in range of my earthquake. So either way, it's kind of a win-win right here as he just ends up forfeiting. So that's pretty cool. We're going to go ahead and grab one more because, um, you know, that's like hella short. Anyway, um, pause it. No, I don't even have to pause it. Look at that. Magician 1994. Um, let me guess. You were born in 1994. Ah, I'm a genius. It's almost like a magic. Uh, that was so bad. I'm so sorry. Anyway, um... He has this, like, annoying, annoying balance core right here that, uh, Infernape doesn't do that well against, it does well against those two members, but, um, Shark and Entei are really his only two offensive mods, unless he's running dual dogs, um, offensively, but I'm just gonna go ahead and lead Memo, just because it is a pretty good, uh, catch-all lead versus his team, because, uh, Entei will die to an EQ, but I don't really want to leave this thing in, especially, um, especially when I do a Barbarical. I'm just chilling right here. Speaking of which, Barbarical can actually just clean up his team this game. Um, I do need to weaken Blissey a little bit, um, assuming that he burns me with Sacred Fire right here, because I won't have my Lum, uh, which he doesn't actually burn me with Sacred Fire, which is pretty cool. Um, regardless, I kind of want to make an aggressive double, but I'm not sure if it's worth it this early in the game. Um, although he doesn't really have anything to hit me. I'm just going to fire off uh, Stone Edge right here. Um, because, you know, it is, like, my best stab option that I have is he misses the Sacred Fire, which, you know, unfortunate, but you boy missed the Stone Edge, too. I'm um, kind of tempted to just smash and then just wall break. I feel like that's not a horrible option. Um, I'm going to Stone Edge again, though, because, like, if he really wants to, like, stay in and do whatever, then it's fine. Um, a really nice thing about Razor Shell, actually, don't burn. Ah, oh, there's the burn. Please hit. Nice. Okay, so we get Entei out of the way, which is really nice because uh, Entei was one of the things like offensively stopping Mamoswine from just coming in and getting a kill every time it's in. Um, he goes into Arcanine here, which I guess is fine. Um, he's just going to Willow, and that doesn't really scare me that much. I'm just going to go into Empoleon um, because like it's not really an issue <laughs> at all as uh, he goes for the Wisp. I would kind of expect to see a switch added to Blissey right here. Wouldn't be shocked. Um, if Blissey is his rocker as well, um, depends on what other move he wants to have on his Gligar, but, uh, yeah, I'd be shocked if he stays in right here, just because I don't really think it's a very good play. He does need to keep Arcanine relatively healthy, because Mamo, um, but goes into Blissey. Ape is kind of a risky switch, because, uh, don't want to get T-waved, but I'm gonna do it anyway, as he just decides to get up his rock switch, you know, there it is, people. I'm gonna go for the CC. Um, just because this will do a good amount of damage, um, and by good amount, I mean it, it just death. So, you know, um, now that Blissey's out of the way, it makes it a whole lot easier for stuff like Tangrowth to just come in and put something to sleep, or come in and click Life Orb Leaf Storm. Um, I can, of course, lure Arcanine and put it to sleep with uh, Sleep Powder, assuming I do hit, but uh, th that is always a var variable, as we've seen so far. Anyway, um, shout out to the dogs again. Anyway, <laughs> he goes back into Arcanine. It is not an issue at all, people. I'm just going to go with two Barbarical. Um, I'll probably smash on the Wisp Mist. Um, that's what I'm going to go for. Um, just because that would that would be a legendary play. As uh, he just ends up going for the Wisp. It misses. I got him. I got him, people. Anyway, I'm, I'm just going to Shell Smash right here. Um, I don't think it's his best play to stay in. Because, yeah, I should have just attacked. Are, are you missing again, though? Are you missing? Miss. Hey, not hacks cause called. Not hacks cause called. Um, <laughs> that's so bad. I'm gonna go for the razor shell right here because, um, okay, you win. Indeed. Barbar -bar Binks coming through. Um, the, I'm not sure if I said this so far, but the very nice thing about having razor shell is stab is, um, bro, I've been getting hacked so bad. Anyway, um, I'm just going to go for the Razor Shell, and the nice thing about Razor Shell, um, I called the miss. Um, 
nice thing about Razor Shell is that it can potentially lower um, the defense of your op opponent, and it is the same chance to lower their defense as Sacred Fire is to burn. Um, so of course that's very nice because if you can just like lower defense, lower their defenses on the switch, then they may not be able to take a hit anyway. Uh, that's probably gonna wrap up today's episode because that's a good two episodes. Um, anyway, if you guys did enjoy today's episode, not not two episodes, two battles. I can't talk. Anyway, if you guys did enjoy today's episode, please make sure to leave a like because it really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video, which is, um, what is the most creative mod you guys have ever built a team around? This would probably be mine, um, but, you know, you boy needs building ideas, basically, and I'm trying to see if you guys have any for me. I'm going to keep it real. Anyway, uh, with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content, and with that... I'll catch you on the flip-flop.